Hello! Um, it's time to do something a bit different with one of these videos. How about a camera that's only about four years old? Yes, it is a very strange shape. This is the Impossible Camera I1. Uh, the origins of this go far, goes back as far as 2008 when Polaroid was struggling and a group of Dutch businessmen set up something called the Impossible Project which is now called Polaroid Originals and then later in I think it's 2016, 2017 Polaroid was struggling so badly that they actually started selling off their intellectual property so the Impossible Project were able to rename themselves Polaroid Originals because they now owned the Polaroid name and uh, they started marketing their own cameras and this is one of them and then there's another one that has come out a bit more recently I think now this like a lot of modern kit can be controlled with an app and uh, I've been uh, doing some preliminary learning on it in the past few minutes and I have a major issue if you're going to connect a camera to an app and therefore to a screen why not put an extra thing, an extra output from it so you can actually see on that screen what the camera can see but no because there are in this app a few oh, don't have it open at the moment, a few useful and interesting facilities that are not available directly on the camera now is it going to connect uh, well we can explore the app without the camera connected thankfully you can remotely trigger it as I say so therefore you can walk away and press a button and take a picture but you can't see on here unfortunately what the camera can see uh, there's something called manual mode where you can muck around with all its settings there is a self timer so you can like gather a group of people and take a photograph there's double exposure that I would like to um, experiment with so it manages to put two images on the same piece of film you can trigger it with noise rather than a button uh, you can do uh, an extended exposure so what they call light painting so you have a a time exposure and you can wave lights around and create things and there's another version called color painting which just sounds like exactly the same thing maybe it contains some processing then there's something called scanner why why you would use I'm not quite sure whether that means the app can scan the photographs or you'd use the camera to scan photographs but that is what the app can do and I thought, well, what shall I have the very first thing I take a photograph of with this app? And I thought, oh, and usefully, they've given it a standard um, tripod mounting. So the very first photo I intend to take with this is to memorialise my lockdown hair on an instant photo. And uh, so I'll do that shortly, and then we'll end this review or well, in this video I should say, with a time lapse of that photo developing which will apparently take somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes but uh, yeah this is very old school I mean that that's its viewfinder so goodbye for now and uh, cue the time lapse <laughs> 